Hey everybody, Uniservo here, and today I would like to show you the world's worst tube sockets. Here they are. They look nice, don't they? Nice EBYs, mil spec. These are really nice sockets, except what's wrong with them? Well, you can kind of see. It's got two index pins. There are places for the index pins. This one also does 45 degrees off. If you notice, this one has a two in a little square, and this one has a little one in a square. I imagine that's variation one and variation two. Now, I imagine that these things are uh, of military origin, because these are mil-spec type sockets from EBY. You know, very high quality, much sought after, probably 60s stock. Very, it's good stuff. It's really good stuff. However, these things should be destroyed. These things are evil, and uh, while they may have been made for custom modules of some sort for the military, and why they didn't pick a completely different socket, I don't know, but these things are transformer killers. Imagine if these got into your inventory system and you just started blindly using these in your factory, say you're a factory back in the 60s, started using these and just, hey, you, know, you got unskilled labor uh, stuffing the uh, chassis. They don't know any better. They're doing this all day. They don't inspect every, every socket. And it gets through the quality control, and transformers start blowing out here and there while, while getting tested. I'll show you why. Let's get these to the side. All right. I'm going to zoom out a little bit there. Let's draw. Normal rectifier tube. We'll have our little index pin thing here and our normal eight contacts on an octal tube and yeah it'll be like a 5R4 or something like that and in fact I do indeed have a 5R4 here it's a Frankenstein type uh, or potato masher this is just a, a tongue saw it's a high reliability version completely compatible except obviously a bit bigger and weird but a normal, a normal octal rectifier tube is a filament here and connects to that, connects to that, connects to that, and connects to that. And most octal rectifiers are that way. 5R4s, 5U4s, and such like that. There are a couple of weirdos um, that they, they did to protect the market. Um, thanks, Vilco. Well, as you could probably figure out, you can plug a rectifier in two ways. You can plug it in that way, or you can plug it in that way. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. Focus, please. See? It, it'll fit either way. And, you know, you just push it right in. Well, what's the problem with that? In a normal rectifier the plates are connected to the high voltage windings on the transformer and the filaments is obviously connected to the filament supply but if you insert the rectifier the 90 degrees off let's draw a comparison thing effectively what you've done is shift everything over a couple of pins so instead now You've got that. And what does that mean? A direct short between a plate and the filament. Using the filament itself, it's not a fault of the tube. The tube was made properly. It's just that it got inserted into the wrong slot. So, can you just imagine? You're a, a factory back in the 60s, and some of these things end up, maybe a whole bin of these things, or maybe just a few, 
end up in your uh, parts bins full of normal octal sockets. And then the quality control people start wondering why the uh, plate transformers are all blowing out. <laughs> it's because you've int introduced a short and the normal workers aren't going aren't gonna to catch these, these sockets. You know, you give it a quick glance. Uh, did, you know, did you notice the, uh, the extra index pin? I'll show it again. Did you notice? You know, because they're dealing with this, you know, they're holding the parts for a second or two. Yeah, I don't know what EBY was thinking. Actually, they probably just followed the orders of uh, whoever, whoever, whoever was making the equipment that used this stuff. But a horrible, horrible idea. These things should be crushed. Because they are indeed transformer killers. And in fact, one time I had a whole bunch of these things. And I just grabbed them. I was doing a cleanup. And I thought, oh, these are great sockets. These are awesome. And then when I got home, I looked at them and went, hey, these are not awesome. And I got rid of them. <laughs> because I don't want the liability of putting a bunch of these in my shop or my projects or whatever. And frying, uh, frying hard to get or impossible to get transformers all right well i hope you uh <laughs> can see what the problem is hope you like the video uh please subscribe maybe look at some of the past videos i do uh, uh tweet quite a bit on uh uniservo is the handle on twitter where i announce videos and uh yeah weird parts i like them even if they're stupid stupid ideas all right Hope you like it. Leave a comment if you've seen anything <laughs> that uses these. I'm kind of interesting or interested to find out what piece of equipment actually used these. All right. See you later. Bye bye.